Okay, Jason, so if I were planning a study on employee engagement and I want to include some kind of justice measure in there, how do I begin? Where do I start with the justice measures? So it's an important question. Uh, I've been wrestling with these issues for probably 14, 15 years now. If you were going to measure engagement, there would be two or three measures you could take off the shelf and pretty much use in their published form. Uh, justice is different though. It is a little bit more complex than that in terms of how it's measured. It's a contextualized phenomenon. It's a reference phenomenon. So there's always going to be certain tailoring decisions you would need to make, certain conversion decisions you would need to make. So well, what, what are those? I think the first thing you'd want to figure out in your study is are you measuring justice or are you measuring fairness? Are you measuring some sense of adherence to a particular set of rules uh, interpersonal rules, informational rules, procedural rules, distributive rules, or are you measuring some more general sense of appropriateness of the kind that would be lent to a fairness measure? Let's say that you've, you've made that justice versus fairness decision. The next, sec the next question is the justice of what or the fairness of what? Are you going to focus on supervisory justice, so your boss is fair as an aspect of his or her decision-making style, or are you going to focus on organizational justice or fairness? The firm itself as a company uh, is fair. And that often is driven by your research question. With some conceptual lenses, it makes sense to tailor the focus of the justice to the target of whatever your dependent variable uh, is. Kind of the next question is time bracketing. Are you going to focus on the justice or fairness of one particular event, say a dispute resolution, or a performance appraisal, or an organizational change? Are you going to look at multiple events? Say the degree which my boss is fair when he or she engages in rewards decisions, evaluation decisions, promotion decisions, assignment decisions, and so forth. Or are you focused really on the justice of your, of your supervisor as a person, or the justice of an organization as a firm, what we call the entity as, as, as a whole? And that's kind of the most extensive level uh, of time bracketing. And then I think the last decision is these dimensional distinctions that we make in the literature, procedural, distributive, interpersonal, informational, are you going to keep those distinctions separated in your measurement, or are you going to kind of glob them together in a more composite uh, kind of variable? And often that's dictated by your research question as well. If your research question says, well, procedural and distributive justice or fairness are going to act differently, then you keep them separated in the study. If those nuances are not important to you then, then you either use a latent justice variable uh, or an overall fairness scale. Okay, so it sounds like if I want employee engagement to be my dependent variable, I'd probably go with justice over fairness for my independent variable, and I'm not sure that I'm interested in a specific dimension, so some type of latent justice variable. And with employee engagement, probably not a single event, so thinking about multi, multiple events as my time frame. Now the referent is a little bit trickier for me. I can see how organizational justice would likely play a significant role in employee engagement, but I can also see supervisor justice playing a role. So that might be something I still need to give some more thought to. Or you measure both. Or I could measure both. <laughs>